Hey guys, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the M2M MQ03-LTE dual path communicator and how to get it wired into your Honeywell Vista system. So, uh, super easy to do. It's going to be six connections total that we'll be making. Prior to doing this, make sure your panel is completely powered down. Uh, mine is in this case, it's a shell but uh, you're gonna need to make sure you unplug your backup battery and your power supply. So make sure there is absolutely no power going to this. Uh, you wanna protect the system. It's not really gonna harm you, but the system can get uh, fried out. So just be very careful uh, when you're doing this. So what we're gonna do first here is we'll take a look at the actual communicator itself, which I have pre-wired. Now you are gonna need to get wiring for this. I've used 22 gauge four conductor and a strand of 22 gauge two conductor. However you wanna do it, it is gonna be six connections going back to the panel total. So just make sure that you have wire. Um, you can see the communicator here. It's got its IP port there. It's, it's antenna slot here, which we'll get to in a minute. Uh, what we're gonna do first is we'll go over the connections that I've made uh, before getting this video going. So from my strand of four conductor, I have gone red to positive power which is plus on here. I have gone black to negative. I have gone green to DAT1 or data one. And I have gone white here in this case. Some of you may have yellow or another color, but I have gone white to DAT2. Once you have made those connections, you're gonna grab your strand of two conductor and you are gonna go red to ring and black to tip. This wire is gonna handle communications for us. All right, so once we've confirmed those connections, we're gonna go ahead and move this over to the side here. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be wiring this in just like a keypad. So we're just gonna follow along just, just as it is. So there's gonna be other wires in these slots. Just make sure that you wire this in there along with it. You don't really need to remove anything uh, unless there's something that has specifically been told to be removed. But in this case, we don't have anything to remove. So we're just gonna leave everything in there and we're gonna wire this in along with it. Black is gonna go to four, which is ground. Then we're gonna go red, which is our power, our positive power to number five. Then we're gonna go green to number six. And then we are gonna go white to number seven, like so. Once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and make our communication connections at tip and ring. So you'll see that I've already stripped this side back as well. So we are gonna be going red to 24 or ring. And then we are gonna be going black to green or 23. Okay, once those connections have been made, you've connected your dual path communicator. So now it's time to actually get it finalized here. So we're gonna get our antenna plugged in, and this is a magnetic antenna. You can stick it to the side of the box. You can put it on the top of the box. Don't recommend putting it inside the box though. It's not a very good idea. It does mess with stuff. So probably put it outside the box would be a best bet. Now, after we've got our antenna connected, like so, we're gonna go ahead and get our ethernet connection put in here. So. Just take your ethernet connection, go into the slot here, snap it in. Make sure you hear that click. At that point, this device is completely connected to the panel and ready for activation. So make sure to give us a call, give us the serial number off this device, and we'll get you going. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. Other than that, take care and have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.